hello and welcome to my channel today I'm going to be reviewing some products sent to me from Hunky Dory Crafts they sent me these for free and I'm able to keep them but I will be giving my honest opinion um, I have first of all here a set of 48 watercolor pencils they are a nice range of colors and they come in this really handy um, carry case which rolls up and has a tie around it too as you can see there's quite a nice wide variety of colors going right from white lots of greens blues oranges pinks and yellows and at the end of the pouch there's this little pocket where you could keep a water brush if you wanted they come already sharpened and they have a little sort of cover to help protect the tips of the pencils i also sent this um, stamp set called perfect posy which is ideal for using with the pencils and I am um, going to stamp it using um, the stamping platform because it is quite a large stamp and I'm stamping onto the Hunky Dory Ink Me cardstock which is a nice smooth cardstock and I'm using archival ink because um, I wanted to make sure that if I use any water or if um, the colour went onto my ink it wasn't going to move the lines of the stamp at all. Now, Hunky Dory are very kindly today offering a 10% code um, which I will have linked down in the description box below for anybody who orders from the day that this uh, video goes live within the next two weeks and the code is Crafty Creations 10 but as I say I will put it down in the description box below. Here I'm choosing um, a few different colours. I'm not going to colour this whole uh, stamp in, don't worry, I did have one I prepared earlier. But to start with, I thought I would try the pencils out just as pencils, not with any water, just to see how they laid down the colour and to see how they would blend. Just drying off the archival ink to make sure it doesn't smudge at all when I start using the pencils. I've gone for three different shades of purples and two different shades of green and I'm starting off using the lighter of the two um, green pencils and colouring the whole of that leaf in. They go down really nicely, they are lovely and smooth, especially on that um, smooth cardstock. And now I'm using the darker colour to um, add a bit of shading, then going back over with the lighter green. And the colours do actually blend quite nicely. You don't get obviously a, a total 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 blend but they do start to mix together slightly in the middle and you get a nice smooth appearance to the colouring. Then I'm just colouring one of the petals in using the um, three different purples starting with this light purple. I went with a bit of a lighter touch this time to see if that um, was made any difference and then going with a sort of more mid-tone purple and then re-blending with the lighter tone again all the way over the top before finally adding in the, the darkest of the purples just at that base of the petal to give the illusion of a shadow where it would be in the darkest place. So to help blend them all, if going over with the lighter colour definitely um, helps and you can see there how nicely they have and how smoothly they lay down. You can also, if um, if you want to blend even more, you can take the white pencil and go all the way over it and that will also sort of blend the colours together a little bit more. So I did that with both of these, but the blend was nice even without adding the white. So there you go, there's the showing you how smoothly they blended together. Now because they are a, a watercolour pencil, you can at this point also lift a little bit of the colour if you wanted to add a little highlight. So that's what, just what I'm showing you that I did there and that came off quite easily. But here's the one I made earlier. I coloured it all in and then I um, did an extra flower to decoupage them up. Now this is the stamp set Oh So Pretty Petals, which I've received previously. And this time I'm not using the Ink Me cardstock, I'm using the um, Prism watercolour cardstock. And this is a sort of, um, it's not an extra smooth cardstock, it's more like a sort of cold pressed feel to it, which gives you a little bit of a bumpy surface. And this time I'm going to be using the pencils with water to show the, how they activate and move on this card. 
Now I did try the pencils on a much much smoother cardstock and I found that the water wouldn't really blend them out properly so you really do need a proper um, rougher watercolour cardstock like the prism one to help these to move. So I start off just by adding a little bit of the, the colour and then blending it out with water in my water brush and this worked brilliantly on this cardstock. Um, I didn't have a problem moving the colour at all. Obviously if you want to um, get a lighter shade you add a bit more water, a bit less colour and if you want it to be darker add a bit more of the, the, um, the pencil and a bit less of the water. But I like how you get that nice um, graduated colour without too much effort when you, you do a watercolour technique. I'm using one of the, uh, the yellow pencils. This time I decided to see what happens if I try to take the colour from, from the tip of the pencil using my water brush. Um, it was a much a lighter effect but you can certainly lift the colour that way. One thing I would say is do not, it's never advisable to dip your watercolour um, pencils into water as the water will go up into the wood and can rot the pencils. So if you want to use just a little bit of water on your water brush to take from the tip that's fine but do not dip in water. So here they are all um, coloured in and cut out and I decided to sort of stick onto a, a black background because I thought that would really show the colours beautifully on these lovely big blooms. So I'm using a little bit of, of glue gel because I wanted a bit of extra dimension and just tucking in my smaller flowers behind my big flowers. Now, if you do decide to use the code um, to um, get a 10% discount off of um, Hunky Dory products in the next two weeks, just to let you know, I do not get any financial reward for you doing that. It is purely a gift from Hunky Dory. Um, I just get to keep these products. I do not get any financial um, compensation at all. Now that was a, a sentiment from the Floral Favourites stamp set. I just stamped it onto some white card and then cut a banner shape. Now I'm just using some of the diamond sparkles. These are the glitter um, sparkles and this colour set is amber. Um, you do get a nice variety of um, shades within one set of these little gems. And I just wanted to add a little bit of um, extra spark or a little bit of interest into the card. So if you are interested in any of the products all the links will be down below in the description box along with that code if you want to get a 10% discount. Remember that is only for the next two weeks following on from when this video has gone live. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up and if you can subscribe that would be even better. Thank you. Until next time, bye.